Okay, so Varmint Coyote recently um, submitted a video to TYT Nation on why he thinks college is a scam. Now, he made a lot of points in the video. I'll link it up in my channel so you can watch it. But um, one of the points that he made was about cost. So, being TYT University's greatest video submitter of all time, I decided to explain to you why college education costs so much. And it's actually quite simple. Every economic incentive in the college market has actually been distorted by the federal government to, you know, incentivize raising tuition. Now I'll explain. You see, what the government does is it guarantees student loans and it gives them at an artificially low interest rate. Now I'm going to explain the old policy before I explain the new policy. Many, many moons ago, the Congress decided it would be a good idea to promise people that their kids can have an affordable higher education. Now, if you watch the government for more than eight days, you should have realized that intent never equals results with these people. You see, what the government ended up creating was a no-lose situation for the banks. They essentially removed the risk from student loans. Now, I'll explain it like this. If a student borrows money from a bank and he spends it on a college degree and he graduates, he gets a great job, and he pays back the bank, the bank wins. Now, the bank should win in that situation. It made a good choice by giving money to this kid. He was obviously very studious. He, you know, worked hard through college and he graduated and he was able to pay it back. But let's say a student borrows money from the bank. He spends it on a college tuition and he doesn't graduate or even if he does graduate, but he doesn't get a very good job because he didn't major in a productive major and he can't pay the bank back. The bank should lose in this situation, but actually what ends up happening is the bank wins anyway because the government guaranteed that loan. So if the kid couldn't pay it back, the government would pay it back on behalf of the bank. You see, the government has created an unnatural incentive in this situation. Normally when a bank gives a loan, they have to make sure that the person that they're lending money to ha is going to have the ability to pay them back because if they don't pay them back, the bank is out that money. But if the government guarantees the loans, there's no risk in it for the bank. So they have the perverse or unnatural incentive to give as many loans as possible without concern of whether the borrower can pay them back. Now, the government has made it easier for students to borrow money. But when the students go to the universities, they end up bidding up the tuition. And the universities, realizing that the students are connected to this huge cash cow, end up raising their tuition because they know the students can borrow it. If the students couldn't borrow this much money, the universities would have to lower tuition, otherwise their classrooms would be fucking empty. It's important to realize that the system I just described, where the government um, subsidizes student loans that the banks give, no longer exists. After President Obama um, was elected, the government decided, or the Congress decided, and Obama signed it, that um, there was no need for the banks in this system. And in truth, there is no need for the banks in this system. And the federal government began lending money directly to the students at a lower interest rate. Unfortunately, the problems with the old system are the problems with the new system. See, the problems with the old system was the bank didn't care if the students could or couldn't pay off the student loans because they would be reimbursed by the government. Now, the problem with this system is the government has never, ever fucking ever cared how they spent your tax dollars. So they don't give a shit if you could pay back the loan. So they'll give you as much money as you want to go study the most worthless degree that you want, and the college realizes that you're hooked up directly to the federal government, so they're likely to raise college tuition prices even faster. See, the problem with this system is the government decided that the best way to make college affordable was to subsidize debt. Now, if you subsidize something, basic economics, kids, if you subsidize something, you get more of it. Subsidizing debt, you're getting more debt. It's fucking logic. So, the college wins because it gets a lot of corporate welfare. The banks remove from the equation, but the banks always win in other ways. And the government wins because the politicians who promise you all this shit get reelected even though their policies don't work. Why? Because it's good politics. This is why college is so expensive. The federal, if the federal government wasn't in the equation at all, then students wouldn't be able to borrow this crazy amount of money to pay for their tuition. The colleges would have to lower tuition or else nobody would be in the fucking universities.
For those of you who think that Romney Ryan will be better on education than President Obama because they actually promised to reduce the amount of federal student aid that you can get, you're actually wrong because in their platform they also promised to support for-profit colleges. Now these are two contrary positions because for-profit colleges only exist because of the federal student loan program. You see, for-profit colleges are private corporations masquerading as universities in order to get their hands on this money. Their whole purpose for existence is to get you to borrow money from the federal government to give to them. If you want to get rid of for-profit colleges, the only way to do it is to get rid of the federal government student loan program. So that's an added benefit. You'll lower tuition in the long run. Some kids will have to get jobs to go to college, but it will be much more affordable. You'll be able to do it with a job. Because colleges will have to lower their tuition. And because for-profit colleges can't, won't be able to trick kids into borrowing money because that program won't exist, they'll go out of business. And we won't have to hear about fucking all these stupid institutes. So, that's why college tuition is so expensive. It's also why for-profit colleges exist. Bad government policy. They might have had good intentions, but intent does not equal result. When you subsidize something, you get more of it. The government is subsidizing student loan debt. So there's more student loan debt. It's that simple. So subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to TYT Nation. My channel is IamShawn90. Um, they post I am Sean at the end of every title of my video for some reason. But that's my channel. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. That's it. The end.